Bitcoin trades below $59,000, Ether stays above $2,900. Coinbase posts $1.2 billion net income in quarter one, surpasses entire 2023 earnings. Moonpay expands crypto options with PayPal integration. Jack Dorsey's block adding more Bitcoin to balance sheet presents roadmap for others. Tether enters transaction surveillance partnership with chain analysis as regulatory pressure mounts. Hello and welcome to 3 Dotto TV. I am Ruchi Sharma. Virtual digital assets or VDA markets were trading higher as investors focused on the upcoming April jobs report scheduled later in the day. Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, traded near the crucial $60,000 mark. Vishakha Thakur joins us to tell us how the global cryptocurrency market is performing today. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading up by 2.2% at 75,000 points. Well, after several days of nose diving, Bitcoin's price soared by roughly two grand after the Fed's refusal to increase the interest rates. The market had previously priced in some chance of an interest rate hike, which appears to be off the table, at least for now. With a more accommodative monetary policy environment likely ahead, risk assets across the curve saw a big boost over the past 24 hours. Meanwhile, approximately 23,000 Bitcoin options with a notional value of around $1.4 billion are set to expire later in the day. In addition to Bitcoin, around 330,000 Ethereum options worth $1 billion are also set to expire. Well, it will be interesting to watch its effects on the overall cryptocurrency markets. Separately, in April, the crypto and non-fungible tokens experienced significant declines, indicating a cooling period for digital asset transactions. Interestingly, centralized exchanges registered a 35% decrease in spot trading volumes, with Binance accounting for 43.7% of the same. NFT sales also dropped to $1.15 billion, a 31% decline from previous month. Furthermore, Solana price has fallen by almost 5% in the past 24 hours and over 20% in the last 7 days, with Bitcoin price leading the pack. FTX Estate has started its third round of sales for locked SOL tokens, with 1.8 million tokens sold in the second round fetching approximately $232 million after a multi-week sale. The global crypto market cap was at $2.21 trillion mark, increasing 2.2% in the last 24 hours. The total trading volume decreased by 20% to $70.5 billion. Moving on, AXL, the native cryptocurrency of the XLR network, has seen a 14% surge in the last 24 hours, trading at $1.21 with a market cap of $781 million. Since Jan 2024, the number of AXL stakers has more than doubled, with 26 million tokens staked in the last 10 days, accounting for 66% of total supply. In other news, Jito, a liquid staking pool on the Solana blockchain, has reached a significant milestone with its total value logged exceeding 10 million Solana, equivalent to $1.32 billion. This growth strengthens Jito's position in the Solana ecosystem and indicates a growing interest in the protocol. Going forward, Pixels, a popular social farming game in the Web3 world, has seen a significant increase in player numbers due to its browser-based nature and retro style art. The game has switched to the Ronin network for a faster and more efficient experience, attracting 328,000 daily active users. Well, U.S. stock futures rose as investors prepared themselves for the upcoming April jobs report due Friday. Futures tied to the Dow Jones industrial average increased 0.6%. S&P 500 futures rose nearly 0.3%, while Nasdaq 100 futures increased 0.6%. Bitcoin was trading at $59,350, up by 2.8%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was up by 1.1%, trading at $2,980. Talking about Binance's BNB token, it was up by 2.1% to trade at $566. Next on the list, Solana Soul was up 
3.7% and was trading at $138. Cardano's ADA token was up by 0.4% to trade at $0.45. Avalanche's AVAX was trading at $33, high by 2.6%. Polygon Matic was trading up by 3.3% to trade at $0.72. Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading up by 3% at $0.13. Shiba Inu was trading up by 3.7%. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.51, up by 1%. And Polkadot was up by 1% to trade at $7.1. Thank you, Vishakha, for your in-depth analysis of the global cryptocurrency market. And now back to the headlines. Crypto exchange Coinbase has reported a strong rebound in the first quarter of 2024, supported by an uptick in market performance and the launch of Bitcoin exchange-traded funds. The exchange posted $1.6 billion in total revenue and $1.2 billion in net income for the first quarter, achieving $1 billion in adjusted EBITDA, which measures as companies' earnings before interest, taxation, depreciation and amortization. Coinbase's uh, adjusted EBITDA in 2023 stood at $977.5 million. According to its earnings release, Coinbase's net income benefited from $737 million in pre-tax unrealized gains on crypto assets. The firm ended the quarter with $7.1 billion in capital, including $1.1 billion in net cash raised through the sale of 2030 convertible notes. Total liabilities increased from $200.7 million in first quarter of 2023 to $339.9 million in 2024. Revenue from consumer transactions topped $935 million, surged by 99% quarter on quarter. Trading volume totaled $56 billion, up 93% in the quarter, outperforming the United States spot market, which increased 91% over the same period. Cryptocurrency infrastructure firm MoonPay continues expanding the options to buy or sell crypto by integrating PayPal transactions. MoonPay users in the United States can now buy and sell cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin with PayPal, the firm announced on May 2nd. The integration allows MoonPay users to complete fiat to crypto transactions through wallets, bank transfers or debit cards using a PayPal account. Through this partnership, users can buy and sell over 110 different cryptocurrencies via MoonPay using PayPal, MoonPay co-founder and CEO Ivan Sotorait said. Launched in 2019, MoonPay is focused on providing fiat to crypto transactions with debit and credit cards, mobile payment options like Apple and Google Pay, bank transfers and local payment methods based on jurisdiction. Payments firm Block has begun a dollar cost averaging program to add to its already sizable Bitcoin stack. Led by CEO Jack Dorsey, the company in April began using 10% of its monthly Bitcoin related gross profit to buy additional Bitcoin, with plans to do this each month for the remainder of 2024. For perspective, Block had $80 million in Bitcoin gross profit in the first quarter, according to its uh, earnings results. Were that level of profits to continue through the rest of the year, the company under this program would add another $24 million worth of Bitcoin to its balance sheet. Block already has substantial Bitcoin holdings, having purchased 4,709 Bitcoins in October 2020 and another 3,318 tokens in early 2021. At today's price of about $59,000, that Bitcoin is now worth roughly $4.7 billion. Alongside that news, the company also realized its Bitcoin uh, blueprint for corporate balance sheets, in which it describes the process through which it is able to acquire large amounts of the crypto without unduly moving the market, and how it custodies, insures, and accounts for the holdings. Tether, issuer of the largest stablecoin USDT, said Thursday it has teamed up with blockchain surveillance company Chain Analysis to monitor transactions with its tokens on secondary markets. The surveillance system includes international sanctions compliance and illicit transfer detection that could be associated with activities like terrorist financing and would help Tether identify crypto wallets that could pose risk or may be associated with illicit and or sanctioned addresses, according to Tether's blog post. The action comes as pressure from regulators and policy makers globally is mounting on Tether for USDT's alleged role to circumvent international sanctions and facilitate illicit finance. USDT is the most popular stablecoin with over $110 billion of tokens in circulation. Its price is pegged to $1 and is backed by mostly US Treasury bonds in the reserve. Managed by Wall Street trading house Cantor Fitzgerald, 
Tether yesterday reported first quarter earnings of $4.52 billion. Now let's go to Shikha Singh to get an update on the buzzing coins of the day. Let us have a look at the buzzing crypto watch list for today and the week ahead. First on the list, we have AXL. AXL, the native cryptocurrency of the Alexa network, has experienced a 14% surge in the last 24 hours, trading at $1.2 with a market capitalization of $781 million. The daily trading volume has also surged by 76%, currently at $38.5 million. The recent surge brings AXL closer to its strong resistance of $1.26 and if it breaks above this, uh, it could set the stage for a new rally towards all-time high levels. Since January 2024, the number of AXL stakers has more than doubled, accounting for 66% of the total supply. Next on the list, we have Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu plans to buy 1.75 trillion coins valued at $39.2 billion to prepare for a bullish breakout. An anonymous wallet has purchased two large chunks of Shiba coins, each containing 87 billion sheep, resulting in a total 1.75 trillion meme coins. Cryptocurrency trader and analyst Ali Martinez uh, predicts a major bullish breakout for Shiba Inu. Over the last 24 hours, Shiba has attempted to surge by more than 9%. In April, the Shiba Inu community burned 1.6 billion Shiba, uh, though 204 transactions reduced the total circulating supply. Next on the list, we have Solana-based token, Gito. Gito, a liquid staking pool on the Solana blockchain, has reached a milestone with its total value locked exceeding 10 million Solana, equivalent to $1.32 billion. This growth strengthens Gito's position in the Solana ecosystem and indicates increasing interest in the protocol. However, fluctuations in the cryptocurrency values could lead to Gito's TVL potentially escalating to around $2.08 billion if Solana returns to its peak of $208 earlier this year. Next on the list, we have Pixels. Pixels, a popular social farming game in the Web3 world, has seen a significant increase in player numbers due to its browser-based nature and retro-style art. The game has switched uh, to the RON network for a faster and more efficient experience, attracting 328,000 daily active users. To play Pixels, users need a RON in a network compatible digital wallet like MetaMask or Coinbase. To use Pixel tokens, players need to register and click the Connect with RON button. The price of Pixel coin has been significantly affected by recent declines, currently trading at $0.39. Next on the list, we have Solana. Solana price has fallen by almost 5% in the last 24 hours and over 20% in the last 7 days with Bitcoin price leading the uh, pack. FTX Estate has started its third round of sales for locked SOL tokens with 1.8 million tokens sold in the second round, fetching approximately $232 million after a multi-week sale. Figure Market CEO Mike Cagney confirmed that the firm will participate in round three targeting non-US and accredited US investors. Solana is currently in a downtrend with a bearish bias. Well, that's all in today's bulletin. This is Mewtwo Sharma signing off. Do like, share and subscribe to 3 Toto TV. And for more information stories, log on to our website www3 or scan the QR code.